PowerMill 2012 has the new functionality that allows Z limits to a toolpath. The new functionality provides a new way to limit toolpaths within the defined block and is available for all machining strategies except drilling. This additional functionality will be a welcomed enhancement to those who wish to limit 5-axis toolpaths as this was not previously possible. But the advantages are here in this example for a 3-axis user. We can see on this core box it starts at Z0 and has a maximum depth of 125.5 millimeters. Now when we created an area clearance toolpath with no collision avoidance we can see the maximum that could be machined. Now it wouldn't be possible to machine that in one go so we put collision avoidance on. When we do that the tool is kept away from the edge of the job meaning this area here has to be removed afterwards. What we can do now is by using our standard tools and a long series tool we can create one toolpath which will allow us to create the maximum depth possible with the standard tool and then from there continue that by using a long series tool to the end producing the full depth job using the two standard tools. This is much easier than creating one toolpath and then going in and limiting it. We can create one strategy by looking at the settings we will see that within limits there is now the new option Z limit. In Z limit we can set a maximum tool height or a minimum tool height. For this tool path here where it's Z0 at the top I've specified there's a maximum drop of 80 millimeters to Z minus 80. Then by cloning this toolpath I can go into the settings and when I go to the limit area I can say I want to start from Z minus 80 and continue all the way down to the bottom of the job just by selecting one of the options. When we see this on a finishing toolpath we have two deep pockets both of which are small but deep. We can create one machining strategy, in this case steep and shallow finishing. By limiting the depth of the first tool we can use a standard series tool, limit the height and using steep and shallow it will machine just that steep side. Then, by cloning the tool again, we can change the settings under limits to continue that toolpath down to the end of the pocket. So by doing one lot of settings, we can clone it, just change the Z limits, and it will create a fully machined three-axis toolpath. Again, previously, we could have created that, that tool path in one go and then gone and limited it. That is difficult when we come to reproduce the tool path if you wish to make any changes later on. Now, by having the settings set correctly, we can edit and change just as we would a normal strategy. This is the benefit to the three axis user of Z limits to a tool path.